Hello and welcome to a special edition of our Culture Magazine here on i24 News. Today on our program, a special look at Palestinian cinema and the role of Israeli Arabs in Israeli cinema. With me in the studio is Anan Barakat, one of the founders of the first Palestinian film schools in Nazareth and an author, uh, the author of the book, The New Wave of Palestinian Cinema, right here. Welcome, Anand. Thank you uh, for coming. Thank you very much. Um, so let's start, <coughs> if, if you don't mind, introducing yourself and introducing the, the idea of the new wave of Palestinian cinema. Um, I born in Nazareth, uh, 77. Yeah. Um, so uh, we have... Uh, 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 Today we have a, a Palestinian filmmaking center. So uh, we uh, established a film school in Nazareth at uh, um, tw uh, 2003. Okay. We start with, uh, I myself uh, study cinema in Tel Aviv. Right. Uh, and we open a new uh, Palestinian academy for no. cinema. Since you did have this experience of studying in the in Tel Aviv University, and there are other film schools in Israel, there's a Sam Spiegel in Jerusalem, um, but you still saw the need for a Palestinian film school. Why? Why is that? I need. I, 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 we, uh, it's needed. We need a Palestinian. This word it's uh, so warm for mm -hmm. me, and uh, this is uh, our identity. Yeah. Uh, a cultural identity. So we, we need to, you know, we cannot say uh, Arab culture. Right. It's not enough. It's not enough. We live in Israel. So it's not a political identity. It's not a political position. People have a mistake sometimes. Right. And they think it's a political uh, position. It's a cultural position. So this is Palestinian film school. We said Arab Palestinian film school. And we have all the time we had the contact, the contacts and uh, 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 till today, we had the contact all the time with Israeli cinema and the Israeli with the film films. industry in Israel. Yes, yes, of course. Sure, sure. I'm curious, you know, what <clears throat> what defines a film as a Palestinian film? I think there is no um, uh, uh, there is no no rules because uh, there is no school for cinema. Uh, uh, I established this the school for cinema, but we have no budget. All the right. time to, to to move on with this project, uh, uh, there is no rules. Like uh, French cinema was uh, 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 the new wave of the French cinema, and uh, the Italian cinema, the 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 the, the waves, all the waves. You right. know, all the time you have the g the generation of the culture, uh, uh, theater, cinema. Uh, and whatever, mm -hmm. so they they create a new language, a new artistic uh, and cre creative uh, language. So we we don't have this this language. We yet. don't have this school yet. <laughs> yes, sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't have this language, and, and we we cannot say a Palestinian. It's a Palestinian people make a films all over the world. Yeah. Uh, uh, also in Israel. Right, right. Yeah. And, and the, um, the Palestinian. Uh, 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 19, we, we call it 67 and 48 and out of uh, Israel or right, Palestine. Right. Well, one of these uh, uh, examples is Hani Abu Assad's film Omar, which was the Palestinian nominee for this year's Oscars. It did not win, but did generate a lot of buzz and uh, again, brought to the surface a lot of the difficult realities of Palestinian life. Let's take a look. Even though this year's Palestinian nominee Omar was shot in Israel, director Hani Abu Asad insisted that the film will be submitted on behalf of Palestine, as he sees himself as a Palestinian filmmaker. Abu Asad was born in Nazareth in Israel in 1961. After studying aerodynamics and working in airplane design for a few years in the Netherlands, he decided to go into the film business, first as a producer and then as director. He gained international recognition in 2005 with his film Paradise Now, which dealt with the story of two Palestinians planning a suicide bombing in Israel. The film won the Golden Globe Award for Best Foreign Film and was also nominated as the Palestinian film in the Oscars. 
After a failed Hollywood outing, the 2012 thriller The Courier, Abu Assad returns with Omar to the subject matter of political strife and the Palestinian reality. His latest film tells the story of a young Palestinian who conspires with his friends to murder an Israeli soldier. The film deals with the trials and complexities of Palestinian life. So, Anand, what do you think of, uh, of current Israel, uh, Palestinian cinema and where do you think it should go from here? I, I think uh, that the Palestinian cinema, there is two ways to make a Palestinian cinema. We can, they, or they make business Palestinian cinema for business and a artistic Palestinian right. cinema. So we can uh, see uh, in the VTR the business of the, the Palestinians. Side of it. Yes, yes. Right. He say that. Hani Abu Asad say that. I make a business, um, a, a artistic and business. Palestinians, they, it's it doesn't go together. Yeah. A business and uh, and Eli Suleiman. You know, me exactly. I was going to mention him because they are two of the <clears throat> most prominent uh, Palestinian directors uh, work currently working. Very different style, though. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, uh, Eli Suleiman, he's a Palestinian uh, filmmaking school. I, mm -hmm. I say a cinema school. Uh, he has uh, a very serious cinematic language. Right. Yes, I think he's, uh, he, he works so, so seriously uh, in cinema uh, with, uh, with the artistic uh, uh, point of view, with the artistic uh, perspective. Vision. Yes, yes, with the artistic vision, with the artistic perspective, especially for Eli Suleiman. There, right. is, there, uh, uh, there is no uh, other director in the Palestinian cinema. He, his Quite work like is him, very, yeah, especially and very, very unique. Cinema. You know, it, it, sometimes I feel like, uh, and, I, and I could be wrong about this, that there are no, um, you know, cinema is, is an art form, of course, but it's also a form of entertainment. Mm -hmm. And uh, no Palestinian popcorn movies, you know? Or maybe we, they we, are. We, 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 call, we call all the time the, the new wave uh, 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 of the Palestinian cinema th that I established in uh, uh, Nazareth mm -hmm. in the cinema school, yes. Um, we call all the time to, to the young filmmakers, make a comedy cinema, make a black comedy cinema, and uh, ironic cinema, experimental cinema. And okay, instead they do film. what? They make uh, uh, social cinema, a mm -hmm. lot of social cinema, but a lot of political of course. cinema. A right. Palestinian people, the victim, and uh, all these uh, symbols that we know about the Palestinian people and the Palestinian 1948. Right. So it's, it's, it's take up a lot, a, a big part. And do you think the audience is, uh, is asking for that? Or, or are the audiences actually um, aspire to see a comedy, like you said? No, the audience, I, I, I think that the, the director and the filmmaker make the audience. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you think that if, they'll, if somebody will make it, people will come see yeah, it? Yeah, the Palestinian cinema is very young. It's 40, right. 40, 30 years. It's not a lot. Yeah, you know, uh, we, we, we don't have also uh, old Palestinian cinema. Right. We have There's a new Palestinian. On, yes, course. we have a, the, this is the next generation, the, the, the second generation. So it's, yeah. we are very young. Of course. Um, let's, uh, let's keep going here uh, with an Israeli film, actually. Beit Lechem <clears throat> was a prominent Israeli film this past year that dealt with the Israeli-Palestinian situation from a different point of view. One of an Israeli intelligence officer at the time of its release, I-24 News spoke to the film's main actor, Tzachi Halevi, about his role and the film. Let's watch the story. <laughs> Bethlehem is the most talked about Israeli film this year, bringing to the big screen many hidden aspects of the regional conflict. Sachi Halevi stars as an Israeli Secret Service officer who is caught up in an intense relationship with his young Palestinian informant. The two quickly find themselves facing moral dilemmas and competing loyalties. 
a valuable part of Bethlehem's powerful impact has to do with the fact that this striking feature is a first-time effort for many of its primary cast and crew, including director Yuval Adler, who co-wrote it with Ali Wakid. Sahi Alevi, a musician at heart, didn't know what to expect once the filming was done. When I first saw the movie, uh, it was the first time seeing myself on the big screen. You know, I guess I, I was amazed uh, and I was surprise you know when you the minute you act in the movie and you're really into this the, the whole making of it you you're not that objective the film's success suggests israelis may not be that tired of the conflict and do wish to fully grasp their surroundings Bethlehem has also won the best film award at the venice days showcase in the recent venice film festival such a claim indicates Bethlehem appeals to a wider audience than expected. Eventually the story is about human beings, uh, their routine, their day-to-day -day life. I think you can take the, the plot and put it in a different background and it will have the same effect. And no matter what idea you have, whether you're Israeli, Arab, uh, religious, non-religious, young, old, most of the reaction that, that at least I heard, that it's such an, uh, a balanced movie. It is striking to learn that despite the harsh reality portrayed in Bethlehem, Tzachi Alevi remains hopeful for a better future. Eventually, someone who, th who is, let's say, right-wing or left-wing after the movie will probably keep the same ideas. Uh, so, let's say, since I'm an optimistic, I keep my optimism, even after I've seen uh, the movie. For the time being, we can all wish that living in Israel wouldn't resemble such an action film. Right. Anan, uh, what, what, what do you think about the current Israeli cinema? I'm not dealing with Israeli cinema. I'm, I, I take care of the Palestinian cinema. But right. Did you watch uh, Beit Lechem, for Yeah, instance? sure, sure. I, 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 I uh, take care of Palestinian cinema, and I keep the vision of Palestinian cinema, but I have a lot to say about Israeli cinema. I think uh, uh, it's not, uh, it doesn't make a difference if uh, we have their... Uh, uh, are writers, are Palestinian writers and actors and all of this stuff. So we can say that this is a pure Israeli cinema, right. pure Israeli film. So I think about the Israeli, the Israeli cinema that always we try to make about the conflict. Always we, they try to make uh, left the left side of the Israeli cinema. I don't like the left side of the Israeli cinema. <laughs> okay. I like the truth in the Israeli f uh, filmmaking and f and uh, uh, audiovisual. I said audiovisual, artistic way to show and uh, uh, and to present the Holy Land, like. David Perlov, he said he, he right. make... you, you mentioned David <clears throat> Perlov and, and you mentioned him in the past also as one of the filmmakers you admire him and Uri Zor as, as some of the Israeli filmmakers you admire. Yes. And those are interesting choices because on the one hand you say that, you know, cinema can be a political tool. But on the other hand, these these filmmakers are known for their cinematic language. Yeah. More. You know, it's uh, it's less about the message and more about the the, the way they tell the story. Uh, 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 Anan Barakat don't think that, <laughs> that uh, don't believe the story. Okay. In the in the in the in the cinema in cinema cinema it's images. I I believe in the images with the story. Yeah. Okay. But if you if you don't have a strong and uh, and unique images. In your cinema, so you don't have a good film. Right. I you think. even dedicated your your book to Perlov, right? And, yeah, and sure, you were sure, under. Sure. Uh, I love this man. I love this man. <laughs> he is a, a very special filmmaker. Yeah, I love some Jew. <laughs> so it's okay. But not a lot of people loved the fact that you dedicated the book. Yeah, to him. in the Arab world, in the Arab uh, states. Uh, uh, Dubai and I, I lost uh, a, a lot of. Friends, right? I, now I don't call them friends uh, because uh, uh, this uh, uh, position. Right. But I study in Tel Aviv and uh, and uh, I study in the in the Jewish. So you Israeli feel at academy. ease with with the? No, I study but here. I I I learned a lot. 
yeah. from the Palestinian filmmakers. I, I learned a lot. But also from the Israeli ones. Yeah, this yeah. is a cultural let's dialogue. To, let's try to end on a, on, a, <clears throat> on a positive note. What dialogue do you think can exist between the Israeli and the Palestinian film industries? What dialogue exists? Yeah. There's, can exist, maybe. Ah, what dialogue can exist? There is no dialogue. We can make a dialogue. Yeah. Yes, we can make a dialogue between the new generation of the Palestinian culture and the new generation of the Pal of the Israeli culture. Right. This is the the best way to make a good dialogue for a new future and for 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 a new way for a new cultural yeah. way. I don't want to say to make a peace and blah, 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 okay? But, but if this it is, happens, that would be yeah, nice. Yeah, <laughs> this is the perfect way to do it. Yes, yeah. perfect way, sure. Right. All right, uh, Anand, thank mm. you so much again for coming to our studio and uh, for sharing your insights with us. Thank you a lot. Thank you for joining us as well. I hope you enjoyed watching our show. Be sure to join us again.